Cheers. <laughs> yeah, check this out. Officer, it's just a bottle opener. Honest. Right. That's nice. Right, let's get down to business, shall we? But like before we do, it's got to be done, isn't it? This video is uh, blowing me to bits, to be honest. <laughs> Seriously, it is. We're talking about numbers again, you know what I mean? Mm. That's better. Right. The time has come again. It's probably been just over a year or so since... Um, the subscription numbers reached the milestone of 10,000 people. Uh, well, I gave away, I think it's the Chris Kane knife from memory. So, um, I couldn't believe what I checked the other day, and it was one of my subscribers again. You know, you guys, you are everything. Seriously. Um, he said, Do you know you've just reached 20,000? Really? Alright then, check the channel. It's over 20,000 and 2 million channel views. <laughs> really? Yeah, really, baby. That's just an insane amount of um, numbers to get your head around, really. So, I've, I've got to do something. I can't just uh, just let that piss in the wind, you know? So, um, sorry about the noise. Um, I'm at home and uh, I just haven't had time to get to the woods to do stuff like this. It's just been so much going on. So, I don't want to waffle. Back to the video. 20,000 subscribers, 2 million channel views, completely blown away. And um, only um, you guys who make videos and to put yourself on the parapet out there to be slated and all the rest of it. You know, we do this because we like doing it. And um, a lot of us do it to help, um, to encourage, to um, feel part of a family. And it really is a family. So I thought, okay then, you know, this, this YouTube community thing is bloody fantastic. And I was only chatting to V, World Soul 62 earlier. And yeah, it's changed their life as well. And it really does make a lot of difference, you know? Romeo and Juliet. Nice cheeky little number. Why not? So, um, yeah, this is um, a tough video to do. I'm likely to go waffling off at a tangent, so I've got to pull myself together for this because, you know, them numbers, man, you know, that is, that will fill up a football stadium with full of people, you know, and you know, having that amount of subscribers, you know, there's so many doors I've opened to so much knowledge out there. It's just having um, a mobile library of information that you're interested in with you on your mobile phone, on your laptop, whatever. It's just insane. And the help and encouragement, that really does um, top everything, you know. I mean, yeah, you get idiots and, you know, trolls and the rest of it, but I learned quite a while ago now to just block a move, block a move. I mean, I'll get um, um, a bad PM or a bad comment, and it's got about five or six lines of just slagging me off and stuff. And I'll read the first two or three words, and I know where it's going, and I don't even bother reading it, I'll just go delete. And if I see it pop up again on another video, I'll just go block user. And I've blocked hundreds. But, um, yeah, I don't give a shit. I think um, someone I follow on Instagram, I forget her name. But she's big into fitness and the outdoors. And it was something like, um, if you're doing something right, people are jealous. I mean, who's going to be jealous of someone who's an idiot? So, <laughs> it makes a lot of sense, right? So, yeah, 20,000 good people follow the stuff that I do. And um, 
I'm by no means an expert. I'm learning the same as all of you guys. Um, probably about 50% of what I pick up is from YouTube videos and other people. Some of it is from other people and past experience. So um, no one knows it all. And I'm learning the same as everyone else. So zero twenty five thousand people follow you around. And to like what you do is just awesome. So what I thought I'd do is do a competition. Contest, giveaway, whatever you want to call it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something that I don't usually do, and it's going to be I'm going to open it to everyone, not just videos. So if you put I'm in on the video, you're going to go in the um, the big bag of names, and it's going to be a big bag. I'll just know it. I had 800 or so entries from the 10,000. That's just crazy. Print all them bloody names off and cutting them all up. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. So we're going to do. Um, and I'm in, and that will give you one entry. If you do a video, or a VR, a video response, you're going to get two entries. So it's only one entry per person. You can do I'm in, and you can do a video per person if you want, so you get like three entries, not a problem. So, obviously I'm in. Um, you've got to be a subscriber up until this point. You know, Don't start subscribing now. Um, you, you have to be an active subscriber and I can check and I will and it's going to take a long time but I will check and um, all of you guys who leave um, I'm in if I'm going to check every single channel and it's going to take a long time right I'm going to keep this open for a month I'm going to check every channel and if you are one of those channels which all you do is enter competitions have no interest in prepping the outdoors survival bushcraft then I'm just going to remove your comment and admit you from this competition because I'm not giving that lovely package away to someone who couldn't give a monkeys about our special prepping community. My rules, my channel, end off. Don't like it, off it. So, and the next one is to do the video. Mm. And all it's going to be is about one knife that is sentimental to you. Now, some of you who follow my channel will know what this is. This is a very, very sent sentimental knife to me because there was me and four of my friends made this together over a weekend. And that weekend was awesome. It was last year. I'm, I'm hoping we can do another one this year if there's time because we're all busy guys. Um, it meant a lot to me to be involved in that because I was the only non-knife maker there. And to be invited along between four um, true professionals, and I mean it, you, all, you guys are true professionals. LB Custom Knives, Dorset Woodland Blades, Wessex Blades, and Jack Law Knives are all professionals. I don't give a monkey's what anyone says. In my eyes, you're all professionals. So, we made this blade together. So, uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, let's have a little close up now, shall we? Well, what you're looking at here is. Um it's basically my own um, improvement to the Becker BK2 knife. In my opinion, the Becker BK2 is far too small for a serious outdoor survival tool. So, all I've done was I elongated it. We're going to be looking closely at the, the sheath and the ferro rod. Incidentally, the ferro rod is off of a 50 caliber machine gun. You can tell by my hands the size of it. Now the guy who made this is is a is a brilliant guy. The guy's been through freaking so much, and for him to try and scrape a tiny little living from making stuff like this, well, anything I can do to help the guy, just point me in the right direction. Um, these are 50 cal fire rods, ferro rods, and look at the size of that bitch. That's gonna last. I don't know how many fires, I'll probably never use it in my lifetime, but it's definitely going to be one to pass down through generations. Um, the guy who made this um, is Misha Smith Blades. He's on Instagram. I'll put a link below to Instagram. And also, if there is any YouTube channel, I know he does a different YouTube channel, but I'll put that in there as well. So if you want the custom made, and he doesn't just glue them in like a Muppet, he actually pins it in with a brass. Now this was the first ever one he'd done. I don't care, I just love it. I just love the rough look of it. I'm just really all over that. And um, the ones he does now are amazing. You, you can hardly see the brass pin. So that's Smith Blades. 
he goes in the side there. Now, as far as the knife goes, this was made by Dorset Woodland Blades. The guy is an absolute genius. And I'm not just saying that. I've met the guy, spent some time with him. He's a very nice person. He really does know his stuff. And he modifies stuff for people. He recently done a modification for a Wild Soul 62's knife. And she is absolutely made up of it. She's very happy. So, if any of you guys want modifications on anything to do with sheaves and kydex and drop legs and ferro rod attachments and stuff, you can do that, not a problem, based in the UK. Now, the blade in question. Are you ready for this? Some of you guys who have never seen it before. There she is. It's a solid 8mm thick and it's true 90 degrees and it is an absolute flipping tank. It is absolutely sharp. It is definitely in my top five sharpest knives in my collection. It really, really is all the way along there. It is hair popping. You don't even have to put pressure. It just ch -ch 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 glides through, chops all of the hairs. It's O1 tool still. I think he calls it a Flandy grind, which is a full flat, a Scandi and a convex all in one. It's awesome, absolutely really loving it. And some of you who own Becker BK2 knives, the handle there is pretty much exactly the same. All I've done is I've sculpted it myself um, further with um, a file. Scott from Wessex Blades spent most of the time on the handle. Now, the guy's a genius. When it comes to ergonomics and knives, Wessex Blades really does, really does do an amazing job. His handles evolve. He does a little bit, tries it, a little bit, tries it. And it takes ages, but once you get it just right, it's worth spending the time. Rather than knocking up a handle that looks cool, which is uncomfortable and will give you hot spots. This is hotspot free, I've used it a lot. And the pummel on the end there, that will crack open a car door and anything else you might want to try. That is amazingly tough on the end for a purpose as you can appreciate so this knife is a very sentimental knife to me um i still can't decide what to call it i know it's been a while i thought it had a name for it but i'm just going to call it my knife <laughs> i can't think of anything else to call it so let's um go through what we've got to do next well it is cool isn't it you've got to admit that i'm, I'm absolutely loving it and uh I just can't wait for all of this overtime to finish where I can get outdoors and use it. As some of my good um, subs know, I'm pretty much um, haven't got time to go outdoors until the end of April because I'm just working too much and I'm um, just can't seem to find time. So, yeah, from April to probably November, I'm going to be using this as much as I can, believe me. So let's put that down because we've seen enough of that. Let's have some more bombardier. Mm. That's really nice. Right, so all you got to do is do a video of your um, most sentimental knife, um, just giving us a little story of what it means to you, you know, how you come to own it, you know, the story behind its history, whatever you want to do, just do a little um, chat because we're all preppers, every prepper's got a knife, at least one knife. Most preppers have many knives, but there's going to be one that's very sentimental. So if you can share that with us, if you would like. If you don't want to, just put I'm in, it's not a problem. But on to the prize. Now, not many know this, but I do get sent um, quite a lot of gear to um, do reviews on, on the, the table in the, in the lounge, sorry, the dining room. Um, and to be honest, I don't accept all of them. Um, I turned down three um, yesterday and today. Uh, one of them was a tiny little a candle in a tin for three quid. I mean, to be honest, most people can make those. Um, another one was a little, I don't know, cheap Chinese Rav Power type um, battery charger. I think we've, we've had enough of battery chargers, so I didn't want that. But another one was um, this guy who makes um, stuff for canoes and stuff, and I don't really do canoes. Um, I'm terra firma. You know, if you stay off water and stay off the air, you're pretty safe on the ground. <laughs> so, so for some of you who think all you do is you just re review videos, no, 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 no. If, in fact, I want to get away from review videos. I'm, I don't want to, to be a review channel. I really don't. So, FanQuest kindly sent this to me to do a review on, which I have done. 
and I'm actually going to be giving this away as the prize. It's one prize, no press second or third. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be putting anything in there because of the weight, obviously, posting stuff in the UK is a total bitch. It's so overpriced, it's ridiculous. Um, check out the review on this um, I've done before to see exactly what it is close up. I'll put the link in the video below that as well to see the, the review of this. And it's just um, a sling bag, you guys call it. It's just got one big strap over it. And that's pretty much all it is. It's a very nice bag actually and um, I've got about 9 or 10 packs and Bergens and bags and I just, it's pointless me just keeping this all pretty in a bag and not using it so I want to give it away. Um, I don't know how much, I think it's around about £100 UK, £120 US, oh, I don't know, I know it's around that sort of area so don't quote me on that. So it's quite an expensive pack for what it is, it's quality, um, I don't like using cheap kit. I'll be honest, I really don't. I've had so many bad experiences with cheap kit. Try to get the best you can afford. And it is good quality gear, yeah? So if you want to um, enter the competition, that's the prize, okay? And that's basically it. Just do a little vid of your uh, most sentimental knife. And if you don't do videos, just put I'm in below. But as I mentioned before, if, if you're one of these people that just does competitions, couldn't give a stuff about our little community, you're just going to get bumped off, no question. So don't even think about it. You're just wasting your time or my time. So uh, there it is. Thanks to everyone, yeah? 20,000 people. 21,000 soon. It's just going up bloody bonkers. Um, just uh, just keep on subscribing and liking. That's all I can say, really. It's an amazing journey. And um, speaking from the heart, it's... Uh, it's changed a lot, you know, it's changed, you know, all these misconceptions about, oh, it's just online, you know, you never get to meet people, you can't call them friends. That's bullshit. Complete bullshit. Anyone that says that, who's not into all this, just gel them on, yeah, they're a bunch of idiots. <laughs> um, I've actually met a lot of people in person into all this sort of stuff. I've got to like that again. Um, and, yeah. There's some good people out there. Some of them aren't all what they seem. Some of them change, but in real life, it is like that. You know, you're not going to get every single person's going to be your best friend. There are always going to be some people who will change and all the rest of it. But um, you know, this is real world time. You know, this is real world time. So, a big thank you to everyone who supports my channel and um, all of my dear friends as well. And you are all dear friends. So, twenty thousand people contest is now open I'm gonna run this for um, a month well, let me see what we're in now February I'm gonna do it for um, the end of this month so it's only gonna be for a couple of weeks it's not gonna be for a long open thing because it's just too many people in there you know it's gonna be around a thousand I'm in so I just know it so um, yeah you got to the end of the month midnight the end of the month UK time British Standard Time maybe or GMT no GMT Anyway, I'm waffling now because it's just gone crazy with all these numbers. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck. Stay funky.